50,000 retail and distribution of components we generate over 30 lakh jobs need efficient mixed use of green power generated solar hydropower wind energy geothermal biomass and mixer of renewable energies aim to make india largest manufacturing hub and supplier for electric two wheeler three wheelers and cars i will request you one thing yesterday i got a call to visit in indian oil research institute in faridabad where they have got the excellent technology that is aluminium air technology i am really happy that this is the time for our industry to find out appropriate technology what i want to suggest you it will be import substitute cost effective pollution free and indigenous as per the raw material is available in india it can be economically viable and it can push give you good push for our exports and domestic market the battery demand in india is expected to rise to 260 gigawatt hour by 2030 annual battery market will reach over 1 lakh crore by 2030 cost of lithium ion batteries accounts for 50 percent cost of evs and this is very important that we need to reduce the cost of ev for that reason we need to reduce the cost of battery and where there is an open option for all of you that our IITs, our engineering colleges, our research institutions, then DRDO, then uh, ISRO, many people and many even talented young engineers and startup, they are already working excellently on alternative chemistry. Zinc ion, aluminum ion, then aluminum air, lot of technology available, I am not the technology expert. But I will request you that this is the time for all of you to find out exactly appropriate technology for the country. And I am confident that when the cost will come in the range of $100 per kilowatt hour, EVs may be as competitive as petrol and diesel vehicle in India. I am expecting that within a year or a two year, 100% will be in position that the cost of petrol vehicle, diesel vehicle will be equal to e-vehicle. The research and development undergoing in alternative battery chemistries such as sodium ion, zinc ion, aluminum ion and the Indian oil aluminum air that is 450 kilometer range. I really appreciate that and no need of electricity to recharge. Change of aluminum only the plates are they are changing. I am really very much impressed by it. So uh, my request to all of you that as far as the need based research what the country need what the people need that is exactly to be a correct direction for all of us on the basis of that it is the time for all of us to make indian automobile industry as a world number one manufacturing hub as a transport minister already it's a mission for me that within five years we want to make indian automobile industry of 15 lakh crore and we all international reputed automobile brands already present in India and we want to make it number one manufacturing hub in the world. Low cost raw material can be made available from scrapping old vehicles. We have already started with scrapping policy by which the aluminium, rubber, plastic, copper, everything will be available with low cost by which we can reduce the cost of the new vehicle. Really, this is very important and for that reason, for scrapping also, I will invite you, all of you, to start this industry because it has got huge potential. I feel that I am always telling to the people that West to wealth. One is the knowledge to wealth. The innovation, entrepreneurship, science, technology, research, keen and successful practices. We name it as knowledge and conversion of knowledge into wealth is the future. At the same time, conversion of waste into wealth is the future. I requested Honorable Minister for Environment and allowing the people who are importing tires, waste tires. And from that we will get the rubber powder which can be already added in bitumen for using good roads. At the same time, by scrapping policy also, we will be in position to take all this raw material with a cheaper rate where we can reduce the cost. The rare earth materials, metals, such as a neodymium, is also extracted, which is used in NDFE magnet in EVs. DRDO has developed 
transferred lithium ion technology based on lithium ferrous phosphate technology which will further reduce the cost of evs production link incentive scheme of rupees 18100 crore approved for investment in advanced chemistry cell acc and battery manufacturing i remember at the same time the most important thing is battery storage we need to store solar energy into battery storage it is very equally important for the country and the people like you are doing excellent research on the subject i just got opportunity to visit many stalls and they are doing excellent research i am really appreciate your initiative for that standardization of batteries would accelerate e mobility transition particularly at the same time the battery storage system also we need to make standardized as far as international standards and parameter it is very important for all of us today i am giving my all best wishes to all of you only the request is we need research need base we need research country economic and social whatever the position we have on the basis of that availability of raw material cost that is equally important if the raw material which is available in the country on the basis of that you are going to offer the solutions these are the appropriate solution for the country because we need to reduce the cost of the vehicle i am really happy by giving exposure to all talented young engineers who are doing excellent job with their startup and doing here it is giving the presentation to the country by using this platform it's really a great thing for all of us i am giving my all best wishes to all of you and only giving the confidence that the future of indian automobile industry is related with e vehicle and there is a huge huge potential you can't imagine even in domestic market the huge potential is there equally there is a huge potential in export i will request all of you because our prime minister dream, dream of atmanirbhar bharat where we need to increase our export and reduce our imports on this line in automobile industry for e vehicles your initiatives for all this new technology new innovations new research and particularly for battery storage really very very important for the country i am giving my best wishes to all of you once again giving my all support to all your activities from my ministry and i wishing you best luck for your future business thank you very much namaskar thank you so much they say the team work made the best work so many many congratulations to our honorable minister sir and his whole team for developing the road transport and highways of india so well ladies and gentlemen next on the guys i would like to invite dr rahul balawalkar sir the president isa to please give you know a token of love and also a good amount of information and motivation for everybody out here and of course for our honorable minister